Yo, how's everybody doing? It's the Hawking Regime here, and today coming at you guys with another Madden player creation tutorial video. We're going to be doing Marcus Davenport of the University of Texas at San Antonio. And one of the first players that comes to my mind, at least when I think of a player in the NFL that maybe could compare to Marcus Davenport, is the very tall defensive lineman because that's what he is. He's a defensive end at a six foot seven frame. So Julius Peppers, I guess, right off the, the bat would really come up. Clayus Campbell is another guy you could consider. Probably a mix of those two guys if you can think of, if you are really trying to compare to two very notable defensive linemen. Maybe a, a Michael Johnson as well. You know, those really tall defensive ends. Um, but he's really more of a power type player and underdeveloped in terms of being able to showcase pass rush moves, especially when you look at highlights or any scouting reports on him. So we'll see how he develops that. I'm really excited to see some of these players, though, as they transition to the NFL Combine, which, if I'm not mistaken, is going to be coming up on the NFL Network as it does every year. And I think it I mean, within these next couple of weeks, which is really exciting, to be honest with you, I get to see you know, these great athletes in this next 2018 draft in which Marcus Davenport is considered to be one of the best players, not only at his position, but in the draft. So I, I've seen picks range anywhere from the top 10 to you know late in the first round you just never know with some guys like this right here i have him going to carolina i guess you could say in this creation of him in this player creation tutorial video have him with carolina which makes sense and it's a little bit ironic given the fact that i named peppers as a guy that could compare to him because they are losing some players in the defensive line i think carolina is peppers will be gone within a I don't even know if he's going to come back this year. I don't know what the situation is there, but you could tell that they could probably use some defensive line help in Carolina. So we'll see if Davenport goes there. I think the exciting part about him is that physically he has pretty much everything that you could ask for in a six foot seven frame, and he's just going to be able to continue to gain strength and weight and add on to that pretty much only 260 pound frame. I added the five pounds right there at the end. He's pretty much, I think, listed as of late in the senior bowl back in late January at like 260, I think. So he has a lot of room that he could make up for in that area. I don't think he'll go to an outside linebacker position. It seems like he has too much strength to be out there in the outside linebacking spot. I really don't know though. I would think he would be a stand up or a, you know, not a stand up guy, a guy on the line with his hand in the dirt on the defensive front, but who knows? Davenport's really highly touted though. And again, like I mentioned earlier, not a Clay's Campbell peppers are the obvious comparisons in everybody's head because of just the fact that they're that big like him but in terms of being able to just use pure strength actually that was kind of a deterrent from Joey Bosa coming into that draft class I believe two years ago was that Bosa was just you know some guys were like now he doesn't use any moves he just relies on pure strength and it's not going to work in the NFL and I don't know if that's the same case for Davenport um, but that is kind of a criticism I've seen of him and that he hasn't developed any moves and has relied too much on strength so we'll see if that translates well to the NFL or not uh, but there are definitely scouts out there who really like this guy and honestly as a Seahawks fan I would love to see him go to Seattle however it's just not really something that I would really love to see because of the fact not because I don't like him but because we really need help in the offensive line and I guess I'll bring my Seattle agenda out of this video but going back to the creation of Davenport Again, really excited to see him play in or, or perform in the combine and obviously play when he gets to the league and see what team drafts him and utilizes him because he has a very unique skill set, a, a huge physical frame, great strength, and he's just only gonna it's just really gonna be exciting to see him add on to a defensive front. I've also seen him go to Tampa Bay. Some mock drafts have had him go to Tampa Bay. Seattle obviously has been in there, but there's a couple of places that could use defensive line to help. This is, this is actually where it gets interesting with this video and the ratings because it, sometimes it's tough. I actually haven't done a lot of defensive linemen. If you watch the stuff that I do with these player creations, I haven't done a ton of defensive linemen. So a little bit unusual for me to do this and getting the power moves and the different pass rushing moves correct along with strength and block shed. These are completely subjective. This is a completely subjective part of the video. So, you know, just you can kind of take this, you know, with a grain of salt, do what you want with it. And back to the actual equipment, though, I never really went over anything. A lot of the time, players wear different gear. This is one of the, this is the gear he actually wore for the Senior Bowl. So that's pretty much verbatim. I've had, had a lot of complaints by some people on particular players' face masks. I believe that's the Reed, the Riddell uh, Speed Revolution Flex 3-bar running back. That's pretty close to what he actually wore in the Senior Bowl. So don't freak out too much. And the Adidas gear is exactly how it basically was in the Senior Bowl. Again, 
just basically copying that more than anything. We know we don't know he's gonna be all Nike'd up when he gets the NFL, so just keep that in mind. But I actually think it turned out pretty good. I like the skin tone and how it matches what he actually is in real life. And I like the way it shows up on screen with a huge 6'7 frame and wearing a Carolina Panthers uniform. But that will be the conclusion of the video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. You know, make sure to subscribe to the channel for more of these Madden player creation tutorial videos as well as other Madden NFL content that I produce on my channel. Appreciate everybody and their support. But again, feel free to leave a comment down below about a player you want me to create or something about Marcus Davenport in this particular video. Once again, that will be the conclusion of the video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. And yep, thanks for watching.